In this video, we present the solution to question number 12 for practice exam number three for math 1050. We're given the one-to-one -one function f of x equals negative two x cubed over x cubed minus one, and we have to find the inverse function. So remember the business with the inverse function. I'm gonna remove the notation f of x and actually think of the variables x and y right here. So we have y equals negative two x cubed over x cubed minus one. This of course gives us the graph of f. We then want to switch to the graph of f inverse. And we do that by switching the x and y variables. So the y becomes an x, and all of the x's become y. So you get negative 2 y cubed over y cubed minus 1. It's now our goal to solve for the y variable. Since we have a y in the numerator and the denominator, we're going to have to clear the denominators to try to combine the y's together. So I'm going to times the left-hand side by y cubed minus 1 so that they cancel. But what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We times the left-hand side by y cubed minus 1 as well. This gives us x times y cubed minus 1. The right-hand side will just be negative 2y cubed, of course. Um, we're then going to free up the y because, again, we want to get the y cubes together. Um, the y is now trapped inside the parentheses. So we have to distribute the x so that we can drop the parentheses from consideration. This gives us xy cubed minus x is equal to negative 2y cubed. So now we're in a situation where we can combine the y cubes together. So I'm going to move the negative 2y cubed to the left-hand side by adding 2y cubed to both sides. I'm going to move the negative x to the right-hand side by adding x to both sides. This then gives us xy cubed plus 2y cubed is equal to positive x. Now on the left-hand side, you'll notice that everyone is a multiple of y cubed. We can factor it out thus giving us y cubed times x plus 2. This is equal to x. Um, then to solve for the y cubed, we'll divide both sides by x plus 2, x plus 2. This gives us y cubed is equal to x over x plus 2. So we've successfully solved for the y cubed, um, but there's some, there's some uh, numbers still attached to the y. In particular, in this example, we still have the y cubed. We got to get rid of the third power. The inverse operation there would be the cube root. So take the cube root of both sides. That'll then give you that y equals the cube root of x over x plus 2. And therefore, we can then record our inverse function. f inverse of x is the cube root of x over x plus 2. Make sure that that cube root, root reaches all the way to the bottom of the fraction. Both the numerator x and the denominator x plus 2 are within the scope of that cube root. And this then gives us this inverse function, cube root of x over x plus 2.